Hi, this is Venetia. Oh, and welcome back to Skipping with Jesus. I have a, a word from our friend Jesus. And this was given to me back on May 29th, 2024 at 1.01 a.m. And um, it is, um, the title of this is My Glory Unfolds as you move forward in my grace. My glory unfolds as you move forward in my grace. And this was Jesus' voice that um, he um, spoke to me these words. Holy Spirit, here am I. Let it be none of me and all of you. Let me speak through me with the intent that um, our Lord spoke these words to me to scribe. May we lift him higher and his glory be sh uh, revealed throughout the lands. I love you, Holy Spirit. I ask you to anoint these words as they come out of my mouth. May you speak through me, take over my voice. Let it be none of me and all of you. Jesus, I love you. I so love you. I am so in love with you. <laughs> you make me so happy. <laughs> no, you, it's more than happy. You give me the joy of my salvation. I so love you. Never would I thought, never would I thought the transforming grace that you so freely gave to me would, um, on the other side, would extend such joy unspeakable and full of your glory. I love you. I praise you. And may all the glory go to you. Holy Spirit, here am I. Speak through me in Jesus' name. So, my glory unfolds as you move forward in my grace. The Lord says, as you move forward in my grace, you will begin to see my glory unfolding in supernatural ways, not unlike that of a butterfly that goes through the transition of metamorphosis. As the caterpillar crawls on his belly, it only has the view of its surroundings from the ground on which it crawls. Then wrapped in the web of a cocoon, it only views the inside of its inhabitants. Bursting forth in the last stage through transition of metamorphosis, emerging from captivity, then soaring to heights, only able to be seen from that one butterfly's position. So are we, like the single butterfly, when we emerge out of captivity of the enemy's prison, most times held captive by a web of lies. Just as the single butterfly, each of my sons and daughters are only able to see my glory from their own metamorphosis through me. Therefore, do not allow the righteous, the religious spirit to speak words of judgment of another's view of how they see my glory. The spirit of the Lord says, Refuse to be a critic full of bias toward others, and you will not be judged. For you'll be judged by the same standard that you're, you've used to judge others. The measurement you use on them will be used on you. Why would you focus on, why would your focus be on the flaws in someone else's life? failing to know, notice the glaring flaws of your own. How could you say to your friend, let me show you where you're wrong when you're guilty of even more? You're being hypocritical and hypercritical. You're being hypercritical and a hypocrite. You must first acknowledge and deal with your own blind spots 
then you'll be capable of dealing with the blind spot of your friend. Thus saith the Spirit of the Lord. And the Lord says, you will limit your metamorphosis process when you have your eyes set on others' process of transformation. I am raising up a mighty warrior army from my ecclesia. They know their positions and operate within the gifting the Father designed within them. Therefore, live in unity within the position and gifting that reveals to you my glory that is set before you. Keep your eyes focused on me, the author and finisher of your faith, and know and on the calling of the Father has planned and destined for you to fulfill within my grace, revealing my glory, says the Lord of angel armies. And the scripture you can um, go to to find um, a deeper uh, that corresponds with this spoken word is in Matthew 7, 1 through 5. Matthew 7, 1 through 5. I love you all. May the Holy Spirit take this word and send it out to those that he's prepared the hearts to receive. I love you all. Until next time, God bless you and keep you. And may his face shine upon you and everything you do for the kingdom. And I pray that he finds us faithful in skipping down those uncharted paths with his son. I love you. Until next time. Bye-bye.